Good morning, your average Joe viewers. Okay. We're going to be doing things a little bit differently today. Um, I have a horrific migraine. I have vomited already from it. I'm doing anything I can to kill it. One of my friends recommended has already started recommending instead of using half and half or cream or milk in my coffee to start using grass-fed butter. So, and she also said that this might just kill my migraines when I do get them. I've already had to cancel my class for today because I, I can barely see straight. Uh, I'm going to go back into my dark room after I try this, but I'm going to do an update video tomorrow to see if it helps with my migraine. I'm just using a plain old coffee. This is Wawa's Wakey Wakey um, by, jo oh, I'm sorry, it's Java Factory's Wakey Wakey. Um, so it's just a regular unflavored coffee. Um, what I am going to do, let me show you my, please excuse my messy kitchen, but my setup here. So I have my blender, because you're supposed to blend it. And I also have my hot water kettle right here, and back up a little bit, so that I can preheat my blender so it doesn't cool down my coffee. I will then put in two tablespoons of um, butter into the carafe with the hot coffee. Um, like I said, use the hot water to preheat the blender, dump out the water, then put in the coffee and the butter, blend it up until it's nice and smooth. Um, and it's supposed to be absolutely delicious. And somehow the the lipids and the butter help, one, energize you, but potentially can help with a migraine, and I'm willing to do that. So I will be back after my coffee is brewed um, to show you the process. Okay, so I am back. Oh, can't get my hand off it. Um, I brewed my wakey wakey, and now I'm just assembling the rest of the things I need. It's you're going on a ride with me today. Yay! No makeup, no work. I look like I look fabulous. I have a migraine. All right. So as you can see, once the water came to a boil, I just put it in the carafe to pre-warm it so it doesn't um, affect my coffee temperature. So now I'm going to dump out the water. Uh, that's not going to be. I'm going to dump out the water. Okay, so I dumped that in my sink. Now I'm going to go put in some grass-fed butter. I heard it has to be grass-fed um, in order for this to work. I guess something with the corn um, that and grains that the cows are fed normally um, doesn't work. Now I'm just pouring my coffee into the craft and put the lid on and let's take it for a spin. Now, I have also heard this works best with um, a brand of coffee called Bulletproof. Um, they specially engineer their beans to be without any sort of toxins and things like that. Um, I don't know about that. Can't speak for that. Never tried it. Can't say anything good or bad about it. I can say I have a migraine today. This is only available on the internet. And I am not waiting if this potentially can cure my migraine. I already had grass-fed butter in my fridge. It's something I normally have in my fridge. I already had coffee, as you know. So let's give it a taste, see if it tastes buttery or what. No, it, is, it tastes super creamy, but not buttery at all. Um, it doesn't have a greasy mouth feel. Uh, I am gonna add one packet of stevia to mine. Just give a, if there, there is no added sweetness or anything. I had an unflavored coffee um, and uh, sugar and butter. So let me just give that a little bit of sweetness because the coffee is not bitter, but not as sweet as I normally like it. Now that's a good, that I could do daily. I would take the extra work to blend my coffee. 
that is super good. Like I said, I put in about two tablespoons of grass-fed butter. Um, the fats, this is supposed to be a breakfast replacement too, I've heard, um, since fat, the butter obviously is kind of high in fat and calories, and it's supposed to help with hunger throughout the day. That's not my issue right now. I'm trying to get the caffeine to my brain. I've heard using butter may or may not help it. Figured I had everything on hand. Let's give it a try. I will report back a little later to let you know if I'm still going to feel like I'm going to throw up. But I can say this is a darn good cup of coffee. All right. Talk to you later. Bye. Okay. For you guys, this is the same video for me. It's the next day. This is the day after I tried the grass-fed butter uh, in my coffee to kill my migraine. Just wanted to let you know. Did nothing. Tasted great. It was a great cup of coffee. That was my, but it did not help my migraine at all. I will definitely be doing that again though for both flavor and supposedly the combination of the caffeine, the lipids and the butter and blah, 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 blah. Chemical reactions helps you feel fuller, lose weight. It's a breakfast replacement. So I think I'll try it again for those reasons. Um, but I had to go to my good old standby, etc. migraine to fix the headache part. Um, but again, I can still recommend that coffee method uh, based on taste. So uh, we'll see you tomorrow.